We previously looked at the Wilcoxon test as a non-parametric test for differences when we have paired data. This time we want to run a non-parametric test for differences when we have unpaired data. So the non-parametric equivalent of the independent samples t-test if you like. And that particular test is called a Mann-Whitney u-test. Now what we have here is two groups. We have males and females and the thing we're measuring is their satisfaction with online learning and that, that, that measure of satisfaction has been measured using a questionnaire so on that questionnaire a value of 1 equaled not satisfied at all and a value of 10 equaled completely satisfied. So we want to know if there's a difference between males and females uh, in terms of their satisfaction with online learning. So if we cut to the chase and go straight to the SPSS spreadsheet hopefully by now you'll notice that when we have two groups we enter the data into SPSS in this way so the number ones represent all of my male data and the number twos represent all of my female data and I enter it into SPSS in this way so the first column is obviously gender it tells me which group I'm, I'm exploring and the second column is satisfaction it's my actual scores my my, my measures that I've taken. If we go to the variable view, uh, again, just notice that I've changed the gender measure to nominal because we've assigned numbers to discrete categories and my satisfaction measure of course is ordinal data because it's come from a questionnaire. So in terms of analysing this then, we click analyse, we go to non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues, and then we go to two independent samples. We get the two independent samples tests menu here so the first thing we need to select is our grouping variable so our grouping variable is gender and we can move that straight across and we're going to define our groups like this so group one we've labeled ones, group two we've labeled twos and we'll click continue. Next thing is our test variable which is satisfaction Notice at the bottom that the Man Whitney U test is already selected, so we don't need to change anything there. We click Options. We can ask SPSS to compute or to calculate the descriptive statistics, and then we're ready to actually run this particular test. So if we click OK, and then very, very quickly, SPSS gives us its output. So we get some descriptive statistics here um, listed at the top, but the thing we're interested in the most is this box at the bottom here, this test statistics box. Now to find out whether there is a statistical difference or a significant difference between males and females on their satisfaction with online learning we need to look at this, the ASIMP SIG two-tailed row here. We get a value of 0 0.924 which is obviously greater than 0 0.05 so there is no significant difference between males and females in terms of their satisfaction with online learning and that is how to run a Man Whitney U test the equivalent of the independent samples t-test but for non-parametric data